My name is Lars Asplund. I'm a professor in computer science here at Maladon University in Sweden. I have a background as a physicist and I took my PhD at Uppsala University with my professor Kai Sieban, Nobel laureate in physics. Uh, the virtual keyboard is a device that can be used for wearable computing or it can be used for iPads, iPhones or any computer. You have it on, on your hands and this is a preliminary version and the new version will probably look uh, completely different from this one. And in here you have sensors, so you can actually measure uh, the individual fingers where they are. You can measure the hand position, where they are in air or compared to the surface. You know which finger is moving down to the keyboard. Your keyboard is not actually visible, but you can have them visible if you have Google Glasses or Oculus Rift. Then you can project the keyboard in your glasses. You have a 2D mouse, you have a 3D mouse, or you can have a multitude of uh, operations at the same time. And now we're talking about the gesture device. Today, people are sitting with their smartphones who do various things looking down. We will have a new paradigm shift because now we will go into the wearable computing era. That means you're more free to move around, to be with people. The SenseBoard was a development that started 2001, but it was not good enough. So therefore we needed some new ideas. It's very important to have the right team, to have people that knows about the applications, that knows about the electronics. I realized that the research that we're doing at our university could solve the problems with a virtual keyboard. With your support of this campaign, we can actually do the technical development and reach an explorer edition that can be used by application programmers and the first users. There can be apps for, for gaming, there can be apps for, for new music instruments. We are mo mostly interested in making the device for you. So we asked you people out there to create new apps, apps that I could never think of. So we will supply you with an open API. So there's a lot of possibilities to read the sensors, to the, read the positions of fingers and hands. All of it will be open source. Giving this opportunity, it will mean a lot to me. And now I see a possibility to actually make a virtual keyboard with an accuracy close to 100%. And together we can give the world a new input device for wearable computing.